The earliest Havoc mission was to transfer alien technology from the vault to the newly opened Dolorite base. The brigadier and his men were ambushed by mercenaries but successfully fought them off. The following day, he was irritated to learn Whitehall was launching a surprise inspection of Dolorite on its second day open, assuming they'd be looking for problems, and shortly after faced a fungusman invasion of Hull, where he had to comfort an infected and dying private dockery. When shipping began to disappear in the Aegean, Havoc was sent to the area to investigate. Owain had already been feeding Alistair information about Rolf Vorster's mining activities and how they seemed linked. Alistair was forced to team up with Soviet naval agents under Captain Grigory Bugayev to stop Vorster's plan to exploit an alien entity that was converting flesh into stone. To his dismay, to stop the entity, which eventually required a nuclear strike on the seabed, he had to knowingly kill infected humans. This included friends of Owain's and the two were left estranged. Lethbridge Stewart briefly spent some time in Wormwood Scrubs prison, where he was sent to break out Hugh Godfrey, so that he would lead him to the location of an alien stone. Lethbridge Stewart left Havoc in 1970. It continued to operate after his departure but he was under orders to keep it secret, to the extent of pretending certain alien concepts were unfamiliar to him. Both Havoc and his time in it were still unknown to the public in the 2010s. Just before joining UNIT, he attended a Middle Eastern peace conference. Three years into his marriage to Fiona, his daughter Kate was born. 